Hi, I'm Nancy Gungrel. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about safety. There are four safety rules that everyone, whether you're a beginner or you're someone who's been using firearms for years, should know and follow every time they are picking up a firearm. The first rule is always keep your gun pointed in a safe direction. You want the muzzle of your gun pointing in a direction where you're not going to destroy anything that you don't want to. Where is a safe direction? It, many people will say up or down to the sides. It's going to depend on you and what's going on around you. So you need to constantly be evaluating the area around you to see what's going on to see if that t safe direction changes because what may be a safe direction at one time may, may not be after a few minutes if something were to enter the picture. If you're in an indoor range, obviously down range will always be your safe direction. If you're outside, it could constantly be changing. So you want to make sure that the muzzle of your gun is not pointing at anything that you are not willing to destroy. That's a good definition of safe direction. The second rule of gun safety is to keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. It means when you pick up the gun, you want your finger up alongside the action. If you have a revolver, it'll be up alongside the cylinder. On a semi-automatic like this one, it's going to be up alongside the slide up here. Okay, you don't want it down where it could slip inside of the trigger guard and accidentally pull that trigger. Make sure your finger is well outside of that so no accidents can happen. The third rule of gun safety is to always keep the gun unloaded until you're ready to use it. There's a couple things there. The first one is unloaded. Anytime you pick up a gun, whether you picked it up off of a table or someone is handing you a gun, even if they have already checked it, you want to make sure that you also check to make sure that it is unloaded. How do you do that? You're going to pull your slide back and you're going to take your magazine out. Then you can look down inside the chamber, make sure there's no ammunition in there and there's nothing in the magazine. If you have a revolver, same thing, you're going to pop out the cylinder, make sure there's no rounds in the chambers, and then you'll know that it is unloaded. The second thing is when ready, until ready to use. So what does that mean? If you are having fun at the range one day, shooting outside or in an indoor range, ready to use would be when you are at the firing line and you're ready to pick your gun up and shoot it. If you're using a handgun for personal protection, when is it ready to use? Any time that it is on you. If it's for home defense, you want to have it loaded and ready to go in your home. If you're carrying it, whether open or concealed, you want to have it loaded until or in case you need to use it. If it's not ready to go, it's not going to do you a whole lot of good. So that that rule has a couple parts, unloaded and ready to use, so it will depend on your situation. The fourth rule is to know your target and what is beyond it. This comes in a lot with your hunting, um, if you're shooting outdoors, if you use a gun uh, in your home for self-defense. Um, bullets aren't going to hit a piece of paper or, their tar or your target and fall to the ground. You know, they can pass right through things and continue traveling. So you need to make sure that whatever you're shooting at, it's clear beyond it and that that bullet, when it passes through the target, is not going to hit something that you don't want to destroy. Make sure you know the area that you're shooting, what's going on around it, past your target, so that everything is safe. So those are our four rules of gun safety. Please make sure whenever you're handling a firearm that you're following all of those firearms firearm safety law, uh, rules.